Coming up in Democast Media, I'm going to show you how to recreate this effect over live footage in Camtasia 9. In programs like After Effects, you can recreate what you see on the screen using a mask layer. This isn't available in Camtasia 9, but I'm going to show you a hack to recreate this. So what we're doing in our tutorial today is kind of like making a sandwich. You have your live footage on the bottom and on the top, except in track 3 here, that footage has been cropped. That's what gives you that artificial entry point. You just need to leave some space in the middle for your animated elements. So that's what we're going to do today. So here I've got some footage from a previous tutorial. I'm going to create an entry point for four elements to pop out from within live footage. To begin with, I'm going to start adding some markers at the bottom here in the timeline. This is going to assist me as I give each one a label according to the element that I want to show up. And I'm going to place them in a certain order here. With that done, I'll head over to the media bin and I'm going to start placing these elements onto the timeline in, in whatever order. They just need to be there, ready to go. So now that I have all four elements on the timeline, using those markers, I'm going to start arranging those media from start to finish. Starting with the colored shape first, that's going to be my base element there. And then everything else gets lined up in that order. As I scrub along the timeline, they will be very small and sitting in the center. So what I'm doing here is resizing them so they're all parallel to each other along this horizontal entry point, which we'll create later. By selecting all four elements, I'm gonna go to behaviors and drag and drop the sliding behavior on all four of them at once. So we'll head on over to the properties panel where we're gonna start customizing the effect. Starting with the in phase, change the direction to bottom and speed to 90%. On during, we're gonna select none and out, we'll do the same thing, change the direction from bottom, speed to 90%. And this is what it looks like without that second layer on the top. It just looks like the elements are coming from the bottom. This is where we're gonna start creating the sandwich effect now. So by going and scrubbing back in the timeline, you're going to create a split in the live footage. And this is what we wanna copy. You press Control V and place it on the top there and uh, we've now sandwiched in those elements. The next thing you wanna do is you select that top layer and go over to crop. Bring that handle down to roughly that point that we had identified earlier and we'll see what it looks like. Now here, I just, just for my own personal taste, I wanted to crop that a little bit closer to the element just so it's a snug fit. And uh, with that done, we've now completed this mask layer and this is what it looks like news is it's fairly straightforward to pull off all you need is a colored uh, shape a fade transition and a few animation keyframes let's get into it if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and remember I'm here to help take the stress and confusion out of making great training videos if you want to learn how to use screen capture to make better tutorials software demos or other kinds of training resources please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.